good morning students in this session we are going to discuss new lesson today that is arithmetic progression and this is the very important lesson in 10th standard you'll get maximum marks in this lesson and also a very easy lesson and i think all you this arithmetic progression is uh, simply called as ap so before going to this arithmetic progression let me understand what is arithmetic progression by taking simple examples so observe this arrangements example 1 here you have some arrangement like this that is a uh, bricks one above the other you can consider it as bricks or something else so here here one brick is there three bricks five bricks and seven bricks or you can take one three five seven observe these patterns or observe these numbers if you observe these numbers here the every time two is increasing in each case yes right so if you want to change if it is 1 to 3 it is changing to 1 to 3 here we are adding a 2 next for 3 to 5 we are adding again 2 for 5 to 7 2 that means we are taking a fixed term we are taking a fixed term for each for next 2 here also 2 3 to 5 2 5 to 7 2 that means we are adding a fixed number 2 for each and every number clear so this is one type of sequence again we have another sequence here observe and the arrangement you observe 3 6 9 12 3 6 9 12 so here also to get 3 to 6 we are adding 3 3 to 6 to 9 again 3 9 to 12 again 3 that means here also we are adding fixed term fixed number 3 here to get a next number so observe in arrangement 1 we have numbers 1 3 5 so on so what will what is the difference in arrangement 1 the difference is 2 next in arrangement 2 and that means in this arrangement 2 3 6 9 2 the difference is 3 that means in here we are adding the fixed number for each and every preceding number to get a succeeding number clear so this is the first introduction to arithmetic progression so let me go for next one more example observe this pattern also here also we have the arrangement of let me consider if these are the coins if i consider these are the coins we kept one above the other so in first we kept two coins two coins 5 8 11 14 yes so 2 5 8 11 14 here also if we observe to get 5 2 to 5 we are adding 3 5 to 8 3 8 to 11 3 11 to 14 3 here also we are taking fixed number for get a for getting a succeeding number clear so again you observe this pattern there are circles one below the other first in first row we have one circle in second row three circles third row five circle 7 9 11 13 15 15 so here also to get 1 to 3 2 has to add it 3 to 5 2 5 to 7 2 7 to 9 2 9 to 11 2 11 11 to 13 2 so 13 to 15 is also 2 that means the fixed number is adding for every preceding number to get a succeeding number observe succeeding numbers are obtained by adding a fixed number fixed number to the preceding so here if you consider this number set of numbers 2 5 8 11 14 14, the difference is 3 and here 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 15 the difference is 2 that means listen in this chapter we are particularly discussing a pattern of numbers pattern of numbers which are obtained by adding the fixed term to the 
preceding terms to get a succeeding terms clear so this pattern of numbers or this type of numbers we are going to call it as arithmetic progression so the sequence so let me go for next sequence before that let me consider the sequence means the arrangement of numbers or set of numbers we call it as sequence observe here arrangement of numbers in order according to some rule is called sequence so here nothing but we are taking arrangement of numbers or set of numbers in order in order according to some rules according to some rule for example you can take set of even numbers that even number is a rule set of odd numbers odd number is a rule set of natural numbers or set of multiple of 2 numbers of multiple 2 the numbers of multiple 5 so these type of numbers which are in order according to some rule we call it as a sequence we call it as sequence just an like for example if i take 2 4 6 8 like this so 2 4 6 8 are all set of even numbers so here what is the rule for this even number and these type of arrangement of these numbers we are going to call it as sequence and each number of sequence is called as term look here here each 2 4 6 8 are all terms so which is the first term 2 which is the fourth term 8 that means we are taking we are giving the places for the numbers like first term second term third term or last term and you can take it as nth term if you don't know particular the number which where it ends so these are the numbers of sequence is called as terms so again the arrangement of numbers in order according to some rule is called sequence and each number of sequence is called a term clear next next coming to the next part these type of sequence that means a sequence of numbers in which listen a sequence of number in which each term is obtained a sequence of number is obtained in which each term is obtained by adding fixed number to the preceding term is called arithmetic progression as i told you in previous example to get the succeeding term we are adding the fixed number to that so these type of sequence are obtained are called as arithmetic progression or shortly we call it as ap so a sequence of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term is called arithmetic progression observe here if i take 1 3 5 7 9 etc so here to get a succeeding term to get 3 i am i am adding here 2 again 3 to 5 2 5 to 7 2 like this that means a fixed number is adding or we are adding a fixed number to the preceding term that means 2 is added to 1 to get 3 2 is added to 3 to get 5 2 is added to 5 to get 7 so on so these type of sequence we are calling it as arithmetic progression understood so let me go next one general form general form of an ap here we have a general form of an ap or sequence set of numbers if we go for general numbers we call it as a1 a2 a3 so on up to an that means nth term or an may be 10 if i take a 10 the last term will be a10 or up to 20 if i take up 20 an becomes a20 like for example if i consider the previous example 1 3 5 7 so on so this is a1 what is the what is the term of a1 is 1 so this is a2 a3 a4 so first term what which is the first term in the sequence 1 which is the last term in sequence 7 so what are the last term is a4 so here an generally we'll write a1 a2 a3 a4 so on up to an an may be the last term or the number n last term it may be 10 20 100 1000 so on then we can also write it as like this a a1 is nothing but a we can consider only a clear so observe here the same example 3 5 7 so on so here a1 is nothing but a this is a first a is nothing a a is nothing but here first term we call it as first term 
next to obtain 3 I have to add a common difference what is the common difference here here d is 2 so if I add plus d a plus d so a is 1 2 is common difference so 1 plus 2 we get 3 so we are writing it as a plus d for second term or generally you remember if it is a 1 just you write it as a if it is a 2 subtract 1 a plus d or if it is a 3 take it as a plus 2d 1 minus observe here we will go for next formula for that so a3 we are taking it as a2 so this is about the general formula of an ap a1 a2 a3 a4 so on to up to n a1 a2 a3 a4 and all terms terms of an that ap here you can take it as a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d so on so here a1 is called as first term a n is called as nth term or last term you can consider a2 minus a1 that means if I subtract these two the con consecutive terms consecutive terms means the next adjacent terms together so if I subtract the consecutive terms the obtained value we are calling it as a common difference and simply we are taking it as d or you can remember the fixed value which is added for each and every previous number to get a succeeding number clear so observe here observe common difference will be positive negative or zero yes this is very important so here the common difference will be positive negative or zero the common difference i always it will not be positive observe that this sequence if i observe this one so one four seven ten this is the sequence if I consider this a2 minus a1 this means a2 minus a1 is 4 minus 1 it is 3 7 minus 4 it is 3 so 10 minus 7 it is 3 here the common difference is positive common difference is positive but in this case that means if I consider minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 here the common difference if I consider this minus this so minus 4 minus of minus 2 observe a2 minus a2 minus a1 so minus 4 minus of minus 2 if I consider it it becomes minus 4 minus 4 plus 2 so minus 4 plus 2 will get minus 2 which is a negative number so common difference might be negative also so here the common difference will be positive will be negative or if I consider the, the other example like like this 2 2 2 2 if I consider this one the sequence here if I observe this is a set of sequence here set of numbers what will be the common difference a2 minus a1 this is a1 a2 if I take a2 minus a1 2 minus 2 will get 0 so the common difference will be 0 also so common difference will be positive negative or 0 clear so ap means as you all know it is a sequence of numbers which are obtained by adding the fixed number to the preceding number to get a succeeding number these type of set of sequence of numbers we are call calling it as ap arithmetic progression so general form of an ap a1 a2 a3 a4 so on up to a n or last nth term or generally you can write it as a a plus d a plus 2d to get to get the next sequence you can write it as a a plus d a plus 2d so on here a1 is called as first term and d is called as common difference and we can find this common difference by subtracting the second term subtracting the first term by second term or a2 minus a1 or you can take the succeeding term minor preceding term you can take like that also or a3 minus a2 a4 minus a3 like that clear so this is about the introduction of arithmetic progression so in our daily life also we find so many things follow certain pattern also so here related to that patterns we are going to discuss in the name of arithmetic progression